Everyone have evolved from a variety of animal ancestors into a single species called the beastmen, they still retain traits of their animal ancestors from millions of years ago, this only apply to the outer appearance and not the personality of a person, protagonist was sitting in the cafe with his friend who was complaining how his boss passed comment at him for being a bird kind, protagonist asks him what will he do as he need to work to earn his tuition money, his friend replies he already quit it, protagonist is happy for him and that he did a great job, he cheers him up that he will help him in his class, while chatting they hear some noise coming, a handsome guy enters the cafe with people flocking around him, protagonist's friend say Park Hanze is at the same level of popularity as protagonist, even though he looks at protagonist every day that guy looks more handsome up close, both protagonists and male leads eyes met, protagonist panics and bends down to avoid looking at him, his friend asks what's the matter and protagonist replies he was just picking up a pen, male lead hears all the commotion, seeing this male lead pouts and is angry after seeing the protagonist, protagonist says they should get out as it's embarrassing to keep staying, this reaction was because of the event that happened a week ago, at that time protagonist was at a drinking party, protagonist sneaks out from the people forcing him to drink, finally he comes out to catch his breath when he hears someone sighing just like him, thinks who could it be that came out before he could and makes eye contact with him, he see it's the heartthrob of the business department, male lead says he ran away because he drank four cups as a night as soon as they started, protagonist says that's only because they only remember their name out of everyone present, male lead missed these drinking parties when he was on vacation but the feelings gone after the first round, protagonist also ran away when they were going to start the game and sneezes, male lead ask if he is feeling cold then they should head home, but protagonist left his bag inside and it will be chaotic if he goes inside now, it's nice to go to these drinking parties but it's very tiring at times like these, male lead says it can't be helped and it's a sin to be born this handsome, protagonist starts laughing that he is so shameless and is he a narcissist or something like that, everyone would have ran off if they see him like that and that protagonist is the only witness of his shamelessness, male lead say he just wanted to sympathize with him by putting himself in his shoes, protagonist smile at male lead and that he was just messing with him, seeing that look male lead is in daze, he finds protagonist cute and keeps looking at him, protagonist tells him it's getting cold and should head inside now that he is feeling good, he could drink some more, male lead thinks for a moment, he asks protagonist if he would like to drink just with him, he meant that if he goes back then he will get blackout drunk for sure, protagonist agrees with that, they could go to a place where they can have few drinks and relax without any drinking games, male lead shyly asks that does he not want to go with him, protagonist stares at male lead for a moment, with a big smile agrees to it, male lead finds him cute every time he smiles like that, protagonist's head is all fuzzy from all those drinks, it's not just his head but his body feels warm, male lead asks protagonist if he is tired they could just stop here, protagonist says not to stop as he was just about to feel good, hearing this male lead could not stop, male lead wakes up in bed all alone, he looks around and pulls the sheet, he is shocked and curses at protagonist for leaving him there all alone, protagonist on the other hand was asleep in his bed, after a week later male lead was still angry at protagonist, protagonist could feel his glare at him, protagonist thinks all the one night stand are supposed to be like this and he liked to sleep at his place whenever he is drunk, he was the one on the bottom side and they didn't even use any protection and he was the one who had it rough, but feels bad as protagonist ran away wearing his clothes, protagonist looks at male lead and sees his upset look, but remembers that night and blushes, that there is no way he could apologize as it is too embarrassing, protagonist avoids him and will treat it as if they have been bitten by a dog, the teacher announced that for the assignment, people sitting beside you and behind you will make a group, all three of them were in despair after hearing the group arrangement and that they could not change it as they want, protagonist says there are only three people so no group leader is needed and they could just decide on the presentation as they are in the same year, male lead with a sarcastic tone says how did Mr. Protagonist know they were in the same year and that, is he a stalker, there is weird atmosphere around which even protagonist's friend could sense, protagonist says they should keep their personal feelings aside and he should stop being childish, male lead says protagonist is good at spouting nonsense and why would he have any personal feeling toward protagonist the stalker, the friend tries to ease up the tension between them and that they are from same year, but protagonist and male lead did not listen to him and started arguing with each other, protagonist's childhood friend Shin, who unfortunately has been caught in the crossfire between the two, feels he should just drop out of this class, Shin was facing a problem that every college student is afraid of, that is completing the group project all alone, as both male lead and protagonist are busy arguing every time they met up for the project, Shin could not take it and wishes that they should stop fighting and start working on the project, male lead sighs and says protagonist can do whatever he wishes and can act like he doesn't exist, protagonist all pissed says yes he did dine and dash him and he admits it, male lead says why bring it up when they are not alone, protagonist starts rumbling that when they went to the motel was he the one who dragged him there or strip his clothes off, or that did he force him against his will, 
and ask him to remember it, as he said male lead remembered everything, male lead blushes so hard thinking about the face protagonist made that time, and shots out how could he say something like that in bored daylight, hearing all the shouting protagonist gets dizzy and decides to go home to complete his research alone, protagonist leaves even when male lead was shouting why is he running away now? Male lead starts complaining to Shin how could he state with protagonist every day, protagonist was going back when he started feeling nauseous on the way and his stomach keeps twisting, seeing his face a lady asks him whether he was okay but protagonist faints then and there, they were taking him to a hospital but to his surprise they were doing multiple tests on him, he starts panicking and asking if something is wrong with him and starts crying while calling for his mom. The doctor goes to get his phone when they see someone is calling, it was male lead on the other side of the call, he stops at one place when he hears they need him in the emergency room, they tell him to if he could give him protagonist's guardian's number as they need to do some checkup on him, male lead says he will find out and tell him, he runs to the administration office to get his details. After giving them the details he asks whether it was something too serious as he was a little too harsh on him, they say that they can't disclose the detail to anyone but family members and he could come when the visiting hour is open, the doctors tell protagonist that he is five weeks pregnant, they start explaining it to him but protagonist all confused tilts his head. He is all confused with all these details coming to him all at once, they ask him that they need to know who the father is. Male lead goes to visit protagonist in the hospital, he see that protagonist is admitted in the main branch of the hospital and that is he's seriously ill, the attendant tells him only families are allowed to visit him, he is shocked knowing he could not meet him, but the attendant tells him Park Hanze is approved for special visitation, male lead is all confused as to why is he an exception. He goes to the room and the doctor tells him he is most likely the father of the child in protagonist's belly, he informs him that protagonist is pregnant, male lead is shocked and shouts this has to be a prank, how could a man be pregnant and that he needs a DNA test, protagonist all angry asks male lead, whether male lead thinks he slept with someone else and is just trying to pin it on him. Protagonist is all angry at male lead and starts hitting him up. The doctor tells him that for further tests they will need him to be admitted as well, due to the security reason they need to share a room together. Both of them get gloomy as they don't like this idea, but change their mind after seeing the room they were staying at. Male lead could not believe it and keep confirming about and that his parent has no such money to book this kind of room. The attendant tells him it will be covered by the hospital and that they will be given compensation money as some tests and experiment will be done on them. Both of them are shocked after seeing the price offered, the offer was such they could not refuse, but they started fighting about who will get the bed by the window, when their parents arrive, male lead's mother starts scolding him to just give up on the bed and apologize to protagonist's mother for causing this situation. Protagonist's mother says both of them are responsible for this and if protagonist was not with the child now he too would have been smacked, when they were alone protagonist tells male lead that he will give birth to it and when else he will get such conditions to grow the next generation, male lead says still he does not want to spend 10 months with such a violent rabbit, protagonist also does not want to spend these months with him and it's not like he could terminate it now, male lead with a sincere look says he never thought of getting rid of it and he will do whatever protagonist decides, and that he should not say such things when the baby could hear everything, protagonist surprised with male lead's talk, apologizes for saying such things, he thinks for a moment and says then he will be having a baby with male lead, male lead gets emotional and starts crying, protagonist says he's going to be a father so he should stop crying, 